So we're back with another cryptid tale until something else happens in the news. And the way things have been going lately, that won't be very long. In the meantime, there is plenty to discuss. Now to get right into things, in Bishopville, South Carolina, a modern legend took shape in the summer of 1988. Reports of a strange reptilian creature terrorizing the locals led to some media attention with a few sightings. The Lizard Man of Skateboard Swamp, as the creature came to be known, is another American cryptid and it seems like America has a lot of them. Well, America, like many places on the earth, has a deep, dark history that goes back probably much further than we think. Now I tend to conclude that most of these sightings of these creatures are evil spirits lurking in the shadows with an agenda to make people lose their minds. But I understand that there may be things that exist that even God has not revealed to us. If you thought you had seen a lizard man somewhere out in the wilderness, would you tell anyone? Would you try to deal with the experience on your own? Would you try to hunt it down like some people do with Bigfoot? I know when some people think lizard man, they think reptilian aliens. Are they the same thing? All I can say is, at least we know what neck of the woods to stay out of. But then again, it's still probably a lot safer than today's parking lot. So the story of the Lizard Man began on June 29, 1988, when 17-year-old Christopher Davis had a late night encounter that would change his life forever. Davis was driving home when his car got a flat tire near Skateboard Swamp, a remote area known for its dense foliage and murky waters. After fixing the tire, Davis claimed he was confronted by a creature that was unlike anything he had ever seen. According to his account, the creature was seven feet tall, bipedal, with green, scaly skin and glowing red eyes. It had three fingers on each hand and was capable of incredible strength, evidenced by its attempt to attack Davis's car. Davis managed to drive away, but the experience left him and his vehicle visibly shaken. When Davis reported the encounter to the local authorities, the story quickly spread. The sheriff's department took it seriously enough to investigate. Soon, others in the Bishopville area began to come forward with their own stories of strange sightings and unexplained phenomena. Large, three-toed footprints were discovered near the swamp, and several locals reported that their vehicles had been damaged in a manner consistent with Davis's account. He said the thing jumped on the top of his car, so he hit the brakes, causing it to roll off the top, and that's how he managed to escape it. As the word of the lizard man spread, Television crews, newspaper reporters, and curious tourists flocked to Bishopville, wanting to catch a glimpse. The local sheriff's department cast plaster molds of the footprints found near the swamp, which only added to the lure. The media coverage was intense, with the lizard man becoming a national sensation almost overnight. And if you've noticed, folks, Whenever people encounter things like this, it draws a crowd, doesn't it? Now isn't that interesting? 
It's almost as if these beings show themselves just for that reason. So that they can gather some indirect form of worship. Anyway, in the weeks that followed, more sightings were reported. Residents claimed to have seen the creature lurking in the shadows or heard strange noises emanating from the swamp at night. And of course, there were even reports of livestock being mutilated which some attributed to the lizard man's predatory nature. But we all know that's just what cryptids do. And all this activity led to heightened anxiety in the community, with some residents too afraid to venture near the swamp after dark. Despite the widespread belief in the lizard man, there were those who remained skeptical. Many pointed out that the descriptions of the creature varied widely from one report to the next, suggesting that the sightings were more likely the result of imagination or misidentification. Some skeptics proposed that the creature could be a known animal, such as an alligator or a bear suffering from mange, which doesn't really make sense because a bear with mange just looks like a bear with no hair. But a bear with mange could look a lot like a dogman, according to dogman lore. In time, evidence began to emerge that some of the sightings and footprints were hoaxes. Local pranksters admitted to creating fake footprints to stir up excitement, and the sheriff's department eventually dismissed some of the evidence as fraudulent. The hoaxes cast doubt on the legitimacy of the lizard man sightings, leading many to view the story as nothing more than a modern urban legend. Because as expected, once people find this stuff out, you know they want to be dicks and play games. This is ultimately why people are the worst. Worse than any cryptid I've ever heard of. Nowadays, in South Carolina, the creature has become a beloved part of local folklore. Bishopville celebrates its connection to the Lizard Man with festivals, merchandise, and even a roadside attraction dedicated to the creature. Yes, people are nuts. I'm starting to wonder, are people having sightings of monsters, or are monsters having sightings of people? When I think about what people say aliens do to them when they are abducted, well, that seems like nothing compared to what we would do to them. Whether or not the lizard man of scape or swamp truly exists, the story has become a modern day cautionary tale, reminding us of the mysteries that still lurk in the shadows of our world. The lizard man's true significance lies not in whether it exists, but in the way it has woven itself into the fabric of modern folklore, reminding us that some mysteries are best left unsolved. The Loveland Frogman, also known simply as the Loveland Frog, is a humanoid frog-like creature reportedly spotted in Loveland, Ohio. The first sighting occurred in 1955 when a businessman claimed to see several bipedal frog-like creatures under a bridge. The most famous encounter happened in 1972, when a police officer reported seeing a large frog-like creature standing by the road. He described it as being roughly three to four feet tall, with leathery skin and frog-like facial features. It allegedly leaped over the guardrail and leaped into the little Miami River. Apparently, these lizard men are all over the U.S., from South Carolina to Oregon. In the 1980s, there were reports from Tulatin, Oregon, of a reptilian humanoid spotted near a local rock quarry. Witnesses described a lizard-like creature emerging from the water. The creature was described as having green scaly skin and walking upright like a human. Similar to the other lizard man sightings, 
Skeptics often attribute these encounters to known animals or exaggerations. There was the Thetis Lake Monster in British Columbia, Canada. The Thetis Lake Monster is a cryptid reportedly seen during the summer of 1972. Witnesses described a creature with silver scales, webbed hands, and a lizard-like face, which seems more like a fish man. The creature was said to stand around five feet tall, with spiked fins and large glowing eyes. There were two separate sightings by different groups of people in the same summer, both describing the creature in similar terms. The sightings were later attributed to a hoax, of course, possibly inspired by a local movie at the time. I guess we'll have to keep on wondering if these things are real or not. I think that what's scarier than these cryptids actually existing is having to live with the memory of running into them. Well, that's all for now, and there is more to come. I'm going to put up another recommended video about lizard men. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video in the description box and pinned comment below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Everyone have a great day, take care, and as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials, pure body extra colloidal zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today. Because now is the time to live your best life.